Now I request Professor R.P. Shukla, Dean Education, Banaras Hindu University, to please address and share your views on the above stated topic. Thank you very much. Now we are running short of time, but I will stick to my slot for 15 minutes. As yes, we sir. know, and I have been listening to the my previous speaker. Am I audible? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Your voice is yeah, audible. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Hello. You audible. Okay. Uh, uh, I have listened to our previous speakers, including the Professor Matthews from abroad. We, we uh, this is crucial time we have been uh, passed through because of the outcome of the 90. And with 90 uh, really given a, posed a many uh, challenges before us and problems are faced with the people at large and worldwide. And uh, you just see everyone and, and, and every organization, every institution, or we can say all the human endeavor is being affected by the COVID-19. And uh, if you compare uh, our situation with other countries, then you find that uh, India is in a better condition, and uh, comparatively in better uh, con uh, condition because of the uh, Prime Minister Modi has taken right decision at the right time of the lockdown since uh, March 22nd. But this lockdown has posed a variety of challenges before us, especially in the uh, teaching community and learning community, or, or we can say educational institutions. The question, the big question before us is that, how to really motivate our learners, our students to retain their interest, what they had in face-to-face -face situation, and how they can maintain the positive attitude during the COVID-19 and have a constructive behavior. These three things are there, interest, attitude, and constructive behavior. This is the challenge. And these three things together are alone also, in uh, isolation also, this is one of the factors, can lead and affect adversely to the mental health of our students, and especially the youth, the topic is. In this uh, challenged situation, as we are passing through, I really uh, congratulate the Institute of Sidana Institute of Education and Professor uh, Jyoti uh, Sidana that uh, she has taken a lead to organize this webinar conference on the impact of COVID-19 on mental health of youth. Now you see, the COVID-19, we, we, we know it from common experience that there has been feeling of sadness, there is a stress, there is anger, there is a fear, there is anxiety while, COVID, uh, while, while coping with the COVID-19. So all these uh, negative uh, characters or characteristic features had emerged within the individual, within the society. So how to cope up with that? It is all because it has emerged because the students are away from their classmates, teachers are away from their colleagues, from their institutions, and, and you are confined to one place that in your home, wherever you are staying, and that the, when your confinement is there, then many other good things are also coming. I can tell you, what the things we have not done throughout the life till now, we have started going at home, like household things. Your mates are not coming, so you have to share your hand. We, and the situation is such that many people are separated, wife, husband are separated due to lockdown, Somebody went to some other city and due to lockdown could not come back. And the brothers, sisters are separated, relatives are separated, and many other people are separated. So we can say the situation has posed to live in isolation. Otherwise also we have to live in isolation, maintain the social distancing and use the mask to protect yourself from the COVID-19. Now under this situation, how to run our teaching learning process? This is the question. So. The, the alternative suggested and we have been practicing in the online teaching them the online we have started and I can share you with that when we started from online uh, practically from 23rd March and after uh, 15 days uh, I asked my student how are you or what are you doing now whether the course uh, courses e-content we are uploading 
is it relevant to you or not this i i wanted to inquire then students send a cartoon to me i'm showing that corona virus is weaker than the e content virus all of sudden came to us you just see and they were saying they, 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 there is a big bundle of e content given to us and we are deprived of having the face to face situation we cannot express our feelings we cannot express our emotions we cannot chat face to face with our uh, teacher uh, seeing the what is the real uh, gesture is going on these things are there many things are there and this and at home also we everybody is now uh, trying to maintain the distancing to protect uh, himself herself from the corona uh, covid 19 so this situation is there and uh, so we are forced to live in isolation if you remember if somebody uh, uh, lives in isolation psychologically we were saying the person is introvert not not, not so, a very social person now in covid 19 isolation has made us more social through media we making use of this uh, technology we are trying to chat with the other people we are trying to uh, write something some articles we are trying to make some comics we are trying to make some illustrations and so on so we we are very much eager to make ourselves much more social through uh, media this is this 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 is the change uh, our change is there but all together uh, other speakers were saying in, in, in experiences from usa this is almost same experience our students also they are deprived of having the laptop and technological gadgets and devices and that's why they are not able to access the e content and online learning so the, the, the problem is here here is also there but again we can say the the government has taken initiative and the public has also joined the hand that nobody should uh, be deprived of the food and shelter this is the one the two things are there so we are taking care of that and ngos are supporting us and we the teacher being a teacher we are taking care of our own student whether they are in the hostel or they are in the private lodges they are staying so this part is taken but laptop technology this part is again another question is there and let let me share with you that now after almost uh, uh, coming to the two months and we inquired uh what is the number of students attending the online learning so the data showed that less than 50% students have attended online learning so maybe because of the lack of the facilities maybe because of that their uh, lived experiences wherever they are in the village in somewhere that doesn't allow them to access the that this, this is the big question we have to address how to how to make the rest 50% to access the e content and that's why we are we are thinking to have the face to face teaching for them at least for one and a half month so that they can cover up the courses and we can supplement the e, uh, online e content there now uh, at the topic say goes that uh, impact of covid 19 on mental health of youth yes certainly there is impact there is a negative impact there is a people of the depression is there and stress is there anger also is outburst is coming out emotionally is there but at the same time many people have learned it how to regulate the emotions how to be self disciplined how to be independent living day to day life these other things have come up but when the mental health is affected negatively so it is very difficult to go, to solve the problem to come uh, overcome with the crisis we are faced with that but it is the mental health which will help us to overcome that's why mental health is a primary thing which we must maintain for that as others have also talked about that We have to tell our students and public also to take care of certain things in daily life, so you can reduce the stress, you can reduce the anxiety. There must be less fear and there must be uh, uh, less uh, uh, mental tension. 
all those things for that i can suggest one, some some points like some of that convince your one uh, in the home or you are actually convince yourself that not to go out and uh, because it is uh, good for yourself going not going out is good for yourself you stay at home. second is that when you are staying at home then you are taking uh, part in certain other activities at home so you are getting busy yourself so you are so busy that you should not forget yourself that's why self care is needed so you do whatever makes you happy you do while you staying at home second part is that first is self convincing not to go out second is uh, self care while you staying at home uh, and third is that that those who are working for others welfare like doctors nurses police officials ngos let us extend support for them so mind should not be steady have have a feeling for others also that they are doing the the noble job then meditation and yoga that is the that is the remedy that is the medicine we can say increase you were doing earlier also now increase the uh, duration and have more uh, meditation and yoga and you will see that the result more energized person you are when more energy new energy is coming in then mental health is automatically uh, maintained next step is take care of your mental health as as three things are there uh, make it a formula like that stay home stay safe and stay positive don't be negative while you staying at home so mental health will be good stay home stay safe and stay positive these are the uh, slogans we can uh, uh, keep it in our mind and staying home try to strengthen your positive domain of your personality so do some creative work and, uh, and uh, creative uh, work what you have not done earlier or uh, for example very simple things i'm saying the flower spot so many flower spots are there you arrange them and make a design of, out of that and you can see that every day you are making a new design so this is the your physical exercise is there and your mental satisfaction is there through that creative work support each other and uh, whatever uh, at home also there is a support because many people are staying 24 hours now in, in the same house earlier people were going out day hours and night only they were meeting so now uh, the house is uh, crowded so we can have a support and cooperation with each other while staying at at home now you see everyone is having this skill but uh, while in uh, uh, lockdown period or uh, uh, what new skill we can develop and knowingly we can develop the new skill and that is a constructive things we can do it and uh, there is enough time so we one wants to try one can do it one will be able to do it then another thing is that while staying at home or covid 19 or learning through uh, online then there is a, uh, your expression uh, is is also limited so you have to express it out yourself and for example you go on writing something against the stigma something against the discrimination and you write about the latest development in the development of the corona vaccine or you can have a a better social competence through your writings articles so these are the other other ways other areas so you can utilize it and have the uh, positive benefit out of that and certainly mental health will be better and better you just just see three things are very important for uh, teaching learning the knowledge is skill and values knowledge we are trying to give through online is skills while staying at home we can develop and new values automatically are coming up emerging during uh, this covid 19 and because we, you, there is a social change the change will bring the new value pattern a new value pattern will again will bring the social change so that cycle will go on like that so the, the, this this way we can see and we can see that uh, the challenge we have as a teacher as a student as a 
professional, personal level, as a professional level, as a DGC uh, social, political, cultural, religious, geographical, economic, all sorts of the challenges are, uh, are posed before us and we have to see it, analyze it and we have to, uh, we have to uh, meet all those challenges. Now the question for, uh, for a teacher is that how to prepare our student uh, post COVID-19 to face all these challenges and so that uh, a person is not again depressed when these things are uh, gone uh, and then a new, new scenario is coming up, then one should not be lost in that. One should be ready to go. And we can see the life is changing. It is being changed and it will be changing. So the Corona-19, uh, COVID-19 is, is also uh, giving, giving a type of the uh, chance and opportunity to transform ourselves from one situation to another. We are trying to translate our knowledge into his skill and the skill and new value pattern. And these, these things are there because you, you just see in, uh, uh, commonly at large, people have developed helping attitude. They have a concern from others. They belong to the sufferers. And now there is a positive attitude towards each and every one. Earlier, it, it has been added attitude, positive attitude. So these things are there. Acceptability is coming up more and more. Adjustment is there. Cooperation is there. And we have developed this emotional regulation. We can regulate our emotions. There is no emotional outburst now at home. People are saying there are. Mm, there are, but it, the, the, the percentage is less. When they were not staying at home, even there are much more. We are from the outside. So more energy is coming. So we can prepare ourselves for uh, uh, facing the situation post uh, COVID-19 and students. Uh, those who are not having the facilities, it is, it is a pathetic condition and that uh, we have to uh, change that situation by providing the facilities so that they can also join hand with all others and this uh, ultimately I, will, I, I can share that uh, this uh, COVID-19 impact the, as a teacher and a student or a a person belonging to the educational institutions or society at large and from other professionals join hand together let us have a coordinated cooperative uh, approach so that there there exists a humane character and which is which is missing now that must not miss so we can have a humane character we ultimately uh, uh, the Last, uh, at the end, we, I will say that the Sidana Institute has, has done a nice job of organizing this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing Thank valuable you. information Thank with you. us.